Hey there, Soul Shines, it's Michelle here, and it's Friday. It's finished Friday, in fact. It's Friday, Friday, finished Friday. And I do have some finished objects, so I thought I would share them with you. First one up, well, actually, before we go there, so I remember this time, remember to hook that subscribe button, knit the like button, and leave some yarn in the comments. Okay. So, um, bef the blah, blah, blah. I finished a tithing hat. Um, so here's the finished hat, and I'll tell you, I tried a different bind off, and I don't like it. I don't like it because it like it flares out. I think it will be fine once it sits on somebody's head. I mean, this isn't made for my size head, obviously, but I think it will be fine. I don't know. I won't sometimes just it just seems like getting things right doesn't always work but hey at least it's a hat at least it will keep their head warm even if it's not perfect so finished hat the other thing is I did tie in all the ends on this I have showed this on the channel before of course I will link the pattern down below um, I didn't do anything about jogs on the back, so there are jogs, but, you know, if my son criticizes it, he criticizes it. It's for him. He refurbishes dolls. It's a new hobby, and I know that he refurbished a Monster High doll, and he's keeping the first couple of dolls that he made just because he doesn't feel like they're good enough to send maybe also as a souvenir kind of thing for himself like a reminder of where he came from i don't know but um i thought i would make him a dress to go with his doll cheyenne um has played with monster high dolls she says even though it seems so small that it actually sh should fit so let's hope so i didn't even realize i've got a head bat or thing on my wrist anyway so this is done the other thing I did, oh, and just so you know, I came up with this stuff myself, the patterns. I just decided to put in some stripes and um, where it's two colors, it is literally every other one and then on the next row stacking them so that it kind of created that checker-like pattern. My son's favorite color is checkers. I did block it so now it's kind of flat <laughs> and it's got creases on the side but it's okay um, it well it should help it helps kind of I don't know how well you can see the little pico I actually did a crochet um, I like pulled my crochet hook out and crocheted and bound off the pico I wish I could get it to where you could kind of see the little peacoat edge there. Um, yeah. Anyway, I did a skirt to go with it. And so um, I had fun. The This section right here are little twists that I offset every other row to give this little texture. And then I found a lace pattern to um, kind of mimic this, but then also put in the holes for the lace. So it kind of still has that swoosh down. And then for the bind off, um, it's kind of a pico. It's got one um, stitch added as it goes back. So it just gives this little thing. And I did it so that they would come lined up again, like right down along that uh, line that is created by the texture. So that was kind of fun. Um, and that's just stuff that I added. Um, so, so I did twist stitches every fourth stitch. Um, well, technically it's, the third and fourth stitch were twisted together. So the first few rows, that's what I did. And then when we get down here and there's a little more space, um, I eliminated one of the twists. And so then 
there were six stitches between the twist and then the two stitches that made up the twist. And then I kind of, for the, um, for the, the eyelets, they have like the six stitches between as well until I get down to this bottom row where I added them in at four stitches. So, uh, that part I just made up myself, but the dress, the, like the plain skirt is on the website. Now, um, it was meant to be an underskirt. I don't know how well you can see. The skirt is very big. <laughs> Somehow it ended up bigger than, and partly it was because of the, um, tension on here, partly, I don't know. But it's supposed to be an underskirt, and I think it would still work as an underskirt. Um, so it would be an under, could be an underskirt, could just be a skirt by itself. But also, it could, um, he could put it on as an overskirt, and that would just give different looks and stuff. So I thought that was pretty fun and pretty cute. But yeah, that's my finished objects. I'm still working hard. I don't know if I'll have finished objects again for a while. Um, probably the next one will be a tithing hat when I finish that. Just because of the kind of projects I'm working on right now. I mean, I'm working on a cardigan for my granddaughter that definitely has a long ways to go. I haven't even started the sleeves. I haven't finished the body parts for it. Um, I think I have two or three more inches before I start doing neck shaping. We'll see. Um, and then I have the sweater for myself, the green sweater for myself. I have a blanket I'm working on. So like working on a lot of big projects. I am, well, I am working on some other stuff. So hopefully, hopefully I can finish off that. Anyway, um, so finished Fridays may not happen very often because they only happen if I have something finished to show. Um, I am planning to redo some tutorials. I, some of the early tutorials, I'm like, these aren't great. Quality of everything has changed. Just, um, my... I was kind of trying to copy some people back then, you know, things like that as you're trying to, everybody's trying to find their own way and some people just get on here and they just do their own thing anyway, but other people will try copying things they see from other people and so just trying to find my own way on YouTube and so I want to redo Telltopper tutorials starting with the preparing address. So I have... Um, I have the plans. I have this some notes written out, and hopefully that will be coming out pretty soon. But we'll see. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be, whether they be knit, crochet, um, macrame, or anything else. I will see you guys next time. Bye.